time to begin our main card of the evening, live on the Fight Network. Our fighters are ready. Our referee and judges are ready. Are the fans ready for the main card? No, I said the Fillmore. Are you ready? Our first fight on the main card tonight is scheduled for three five minute rounds in the middleweight division and is presented by Ladab. Let's meet the fighters first. Fighting out of the blue corner. He stands five feet, 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185.6 pounds. He holds a professional record of 20 wins, seven losses, and he fights out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Introducing Zach the Barbarian Otto. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 184.4 pounds. He holds a professional record of 14 wins, five losses, and he fights out of Mesa, Arizona. Introducing Kyle Guns Up Stewart. Our referee in charge, Nick Sherlock. Both gentlemen take the center of the cage. I'll tell you what, I'm taking a look at Zach Otto's record. You know, he he has a win over Mike Pyle. He has a win over Josh Berkman, Sergio Marias. Very, very tough competition. Well, he's a veteran of the sport. He's on a three-fight win streak, and he's in the ex-MMA cage for a reason against Kyle Stewart. Both gentlemen holding the ground here. Ottawa against the cage. Kyle Stewart pressed forward. Ottawa's a city, but Zach Ottawa's fight. That's so funny, Apple. Let's pay attention to the fight now. <laughs> oh, were you saying Otto and then uh, something? Jab to the body. Left kick to the head by Stewart. Showing some dexterity in that lead leg by getting it up there nice and easy. Absolutely. Very limber, Stewart. Effective kicks. And he's got, you look at his shorts. It looks like he, he intends to throw a lot, of, a lot of kicks the way he has his shorts. He's already thrown a couple high kicks in a row. I guess you could tell a lot by a guy with his shorts tonight, huh? That's right, you could tell. Short, short, slits on the shorts. Apple knows if they can kick or not. Yep. Oh. Zach got some kicks of his own. Oy. Oy, nice right hand that landed for Zach, or on Zach. These guys are throwing with a lot of power. Big men like this, if one shot lands, it can really change the momentum of a fight. Faints, level changes. All right, so far, Kyle Stewart's really controlled the center of the cage, though, hasn't he, Gilbert? Yeah, I think so. He's been pushing Zach Otto to the Ottawa to the perimeter of the cage. <laughs> to the perimeter of, of Canada? Oh, interesting. Yeah. Kyle really does throw that fl flicks that, that, that lead leg kick up there high, doesn't he? Yeah, it's impressive. Oh, Obviously yeah. a big tool. Oh, he grabs a single leg, catches nice. the kick. I don't know if that's the best idea to catch those kicks, because that sounded like it didn't feel so good. But now Zach's in the center of the cage. And now will Kyle switch positions with him is a question. Will he pressure him back? Calf kick by Kyle Stewart to the calf of Zach Otto. Uh, Gilbert and I are having a good time, that's for sure. Eric Apple joined by Gilbert Melendez, El Nino, the former world champion. And we're having a great time in XMMA once again. Always great fights here at the show. And we are definitely having a fun time as we see Zach Otto take on Kyle Stewart here at the first of three five minute rounds. A beautiful will kick by Kyle Stewart. Zach Otto switches stance. 
Well, Zach guess... Otto doing a great job on his Oy. feet. Big overhand right. But I think he's looking for the opportunity to take this fight to the ground. He tried to uh, lock up with the over under right now and try to catch the kick earlier. Oh, two in a row there. He'll keep doing that. Now that he found something that's going to hurt his opponent, I, I'm, I'm guessing he's going to go for that again. 90 seconds left here in the first round. Kyle Stewart doing a great job of just managing the distance, using his long legs, head kicks, cap kicks, body kicks, and occasionally using his hands as well. Yeah, I'm impressed by the, uh, by the variety of his attacks, for sure. Zach Otto having some good, good moments in his hands, trying to close the distance, but he's losing this round. I think he needs to push forward with right, nice big kick. combinations and get this fight to the mat. Good timing and a great way to counter that punch with that low kick. One thing I'm noticing is Kyle Stewart's mouth is open a lot. He uses use his mouth to breathe, or that's just the way he chews on his mouthpiece. Have you noticed that? Maybe he has to double in. Yeah, double in. You can bite down on it, show your teeth a little bit more. Whoa. Beautiful exchange. Left hook by Kyle Stewart. Put Zach out of the ground. I don't know if it was a push or a slip, or yeah. he really dropped him. He got poked in the eye a little bit. Shaking it off. Yeah, it was kind of in between a punch and a push, wasn't it? But it, it looked like it landed, though, for sure. Definitely score some points, in my opinion. I'm impressed with Kyle Stewart striking 100%. Arizona Combat Sports, Robert Emerson definitely helping him. Got the USMC tattooed on his back, man. This guy is really represented tonight. And it, don't forget his OnlyFans logo. Huh. Great round by both these gentlemen here. Both guys playing it smart. A lot of filling out this round, but some devastating kicks landed by Kyle Stewart. Zach Otto looking calm and collected in now, his corner. Interesting, they turn him around in his corner. It's not something you see all the time. Uh, yeah, I've seen that before. Actually, I've done it. You got his head coach on the outside speaking to him, and you have your other two icing and massaging and doing all the other work. And you're, now you have two guys helping out inside, and you have the main guy talking in the corner. Yeah, just not something you see all the time. You certainly do see it sometimes. First time we've seen it here tonight. I think it's I think it's a relatively smart play. Kyle Stewart in the center of the octagon, pumping everyone up. He's really feeling it tonight. And I have to say, this venue, the Fillmore and Harris here in New Orleans, man, there's some energy in here. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Really Beautiful cool. chandeliers, great spectators. Speaking of chandeliers, we went for a walk in the French Quarter yesterday. We saw some $40,000 antique chandeliers. Dang right, we did. Uh, did you put a deposit on any of those? Because <laughs> I did. Heck no. <laughs> Whoa! Oh! Kyle Stewart feeling himself. That's it. Will kick to start things out. Wait, nice low kick to finish it. Second of three five minute rounds. Here at XMMA 4, Eric Apple and Gilbert Millet is hanging out with you, enjoying some amazing, amazing fights. Kyle Stewart is in the red shorts. Most likely won the first round on the judges' scorecards. Let's see what happens here in the second. Zach Otto has his hands up, looking to parry punches, maybe to come across and, and close the distance and clinch this round a little bit more. Kyle Stewart circling his back off the cage intelligently. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Another uh -oh. punch that lands. And we saw Kyle Stewart slip earlier. That's something that can happen when you throw in a lot of high kicks. You do have the tendency to, to be susceptible to those slips. Kyle looking for a big shot here again. You can see him sizing up Zach. Yeah, I feel like Kyle Stewart's in control, and if Zach Otto doesn't do anything, he's just going to let this flight slip away. He has to change things up. Kyle Stewart can sit back here, land kicks from the outside, and just sail to a victory this way. Oh! oh beautiful head kick by Kyle Stewart! Yeah. Down goes Zach! He's pouncing on the big punches! Can Zach, Zach, Zach is still engaged. Zach, uh, he, he has his eyes on his opponent. Kyle Stewart to the mound, looking for the arm triangle, bails back to the ground and pound. This could be it real quick. We could see a finish here Zach Kyle Otto, Stewart. He's a bet, though. Zach Otto's a bet. He's I'll been here before. I'll tell you what, this might be one of the best things for Zach because the action slowed down. Because as the flurry was coming, Zach wasn't liking it. But now he can grab a hand control and recover. You know what, Apple? That, that's actually very smart. Maybe Kyle Stewart could have disengaged and kept it on the feet. But now he's going to seal the deal if he can ride out here and not get reversed in the process. Again, position over submission is important here. 
But he definitely has the lead on this round significantly. He took he, he he wore that head kick, took a seat, didn't he? Yeah, he did. But, but I, I noticed I, his eyes. He was looking at Kyle the whole time. His yeah. eyes were right on. He was there. He was there. Yeah, what yeah. a veteran in Zach Otto to yeah. be able to stay composed. Great job on the ref not to jump in and, and call it off. Yep. You know, one thing I, I was going to say about Zach is he's letting Kyle Stewart lead this fight. You know, he's just reacting to what Zach's doing. To, I'm, so, so, I'm sorry, to what Kyle's doing to him. And you have a fighter like that who's sizing you up on the feet. you got to just keep busy and keep moving. You can't let him sit there and think of great attacks to hit you with because he's doing it. Yeah, both these gentlemen are on their feet now. Kyle Stewart looking fresh. Zach Otto looking a little tired from everything. A little heavy on his feet. Kyle Stewart trying to fill it a little bit more. Let's see if he goes in for the kill or takes a little bit more of a risk. But you know what I'm saying? Like a fighter like Kyle Stewart right now, he's sizing him up and launching these great attacks. If Zach stays there, and is, he needs to be first. If he keeps standing there waiting to see what's going to happen, it's not going to work out well. I agree. I agree. He definitely needs to change things up. He needs to press forward. Uh, it, it, he may get hit in the process, but he needs to close this distance. He needs to make this a grappling match. I mean, it, he, it doesn't matter what he does, but he needs to do something. Even if he just comes and stays busy with jabs, one-twos, but something to stop Kyle from just launching these you know, these crazy, different, varied attacks. Well, at this point, I think Kyle Stewart's the better striker, and this, this is mixed martial arts. If things aren't working in the striking department, you better be able to go to the other department, which is the grappling. Yeah, you can't just back up against a cage and hope to count it. Zach's starting to move forward That's now. what we want to see, Zach pressing forward. This is what he has to do. But you got oh! oh, another big shot. Beautiful right hand, and Kyle Stewart learned yep. from the first yep. knockdown. He called yep. him right back up. Smart. And again, you know, kudos to Zach Otto trying to push the pressure. He had to close the distance, but the repercussions was he ate a straight right, now an overhand right. Kyle Stewart, this is ground to pound. Is he going to close the show? Looking at the ref to save Zach Otto. Yep, Zach's tough. Zach's a smart guy, gets that, clinches him up, pulls him in tight, squeezes him enough so that he can't really launch too much of an attack, and you see him get that butterfly on the inside there. Maybe thinking about a sweep, or worst case scenario, he just wants to keep it close enough that he can't really launch too many strikes. Yeah, I think it's a good idea to slow him down you here. You replace the half guard. I got 22 seconds left, but I'm Kyle Stewart, I'm looking to post up and drop vicious elbows here. 15 seconds left in this round. Yeah, he's got this round wrapped up. Might even be a 10-8 round thus far. Oh, I, absolutely. He got three knockdowns. Could be a 10-7. At yeah. least a 10-8. Yeah, you're not wrong. Great sportsmanship. We're done with two rounds. Kyle Stewart helps him up. <laughs> Looks like Zach going to the wrong corner now finds his corner. Yeah, I'm impressed. He's still in this fight. You know, he, he's a vet. I'm impressed with his toughness. Let's take a look at the replays. Well, here comes the first kick to the head from the conventional Boom. stance. Zach Southpaw drops him, and then there's the second knockdown, the straight right down the pipe. Will he we calls see the third. him up this time. Calls will, him up this time. Will we see a third as well? That was a third right there. The so third was the overhand, right. then pounced on him with some vicious ground and pound. And again, what do you think? Kyle Stewart went for the kill, but recognized the ref wasn't going to stop it. Zach is tough. Smart decision to slow it down. Robert Emerson's over here asking for some knees and some elbows now for these finishes to either cut or finish his opponent. This is the third of five rounds, five minutes to go, for Zach Otto to turn this around. At this point, he's going to have to get a finish if he wants to win this fight. Yeah! Well, Zach had a whole minute to freshen up here. It's his opportunity. He needs to jump on it now before he lets Kyle get warmed up and start picking him off again. Yeah, he's going to have to do something significant to make an impact in this fight. Yeah, oh, wow. yeah look at that spinning back Ooh. fist. And, 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 you know, when someone like Kyle is feeling this confident, you know, it's not a good sign when he's feeling this good. He goes, he's just, he's just looking to put on something big, land some shots. He, yes, he definitely is, but he's up two rounds to yeah. none. 
you know, he could take the easy way out and play the perimeter, stick and move, but he knows he's here on a huge platform, XMMA. He had a loss here, and he has the opportunity to finish an opponent who's a UFC veteran, who's on a three-fight win streak, and he can take all this thunder right now with the win. Yeah, and it looks like I mean, Kyle is just saying he's enjoying himself and kind of being a little bit flashy in there. Is it too much? It's a good question. You get too comfortable on your lead. You just you just want to be very respectful to your opponent. I know he wants to try some spinning attacks, wants to get flashy. Well, but again, you see Zach pressing forward. We want to see more of that from Zach. I, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I think Kyle Stewart's been hit more in the first 60 seconds of this fight than he was the whole first two rounds. I'm sorry, first 60 seconds of this round. I understood what you meant. He got hit more in this round than he has in the first two rounds. Yes, this is Zach's opportunity. He needs to press forward. Look, he has a mean mug on his face. <laughs> Zach is mad. This is what we want to see. I want to see Zach press forward. Well, he's got nothing to lose now, right? He exactly. Already, he already he knows he's down. To lose. So let's time. come forward and do something. <laughs> There's that right hand again from Kyle Stewart. Been landing all night. Zach needs to keep walking forward through that. Keep pressing. Oh, a hook from Stewart. There's the takedown yep. attempt. First one of the night. On the single leg, press him against the cage. <laughs> Kyle feels pretty comfortable, it seems like there. He's listening to his corner. Yeah, if I'm Kyle, I wouldn't mind just hanging out against the cage for the last three minutes here. And, and I'll let Zach push me here. No biggie. Burn some it's time. It's going to be on Zach to, to really, really break apart, land some big strikes, or take him to the mat and look for that submission. Well, like we said, Zach's going to have to do something very significant to turn the tide in this fight. He's going to have to get a finish. He's just controlling his opponent against the fence, not, not going to get it done. But they switch positions now. Kyle Stewart with one underhook pushing Zach Otto up against the cage. And now I'm thinking about some knees coming, and there it was. These are the knees that his corner, Robert Emerson, was asking for. And it looks like, oh. oh Huge takedown defense by Zach Otto. Zach Otto is on top now with two minutes left. Kyle Stewart on his back in the close guard here. Yeah, Zach Otto's corner very wisely letting him know that he's got to do something because he's got to get a finish. Just finishing on top here is not going to win the fight for him. I agree, but this is his opportunity here, man. What a, what a chance he has for a minute and a half to really rain some ground and pound. Try to do something that could turn this fight around. He's running out of time. Trying to pass the guard. I mean, at what, at what point do you ditch these guard passes and just posture up and start flurrying as hard as you can? Yeah, I'm a big fighter who believes in, in, in multitasking, right? I, I just don't ground and pound, and I just don't jujitsu, right? I look to pass and punch, punch and pass, establish position, punch, wait for them to give up submission. But I think let your hands go, start flailing them right now. Got to go for it. Have to go for it. Have to go for it. 50 seconds ago, Zach Otto is still in the guard of Kyle Stewart. He needs to do something from this position. From inside the closed guard, is not going to get it done. But if I'm Kyle Stewart, I don't want to end the fight on the ground here. I did a great job. I want to get back up, and I want to get in the face of Zach Otto. I'm just trying to come up to a single leg. Zach hops back on top. I think Kyle, to be honest, I don't think Kyle cares. I think he's cruising. 20 seconds, it's just chill. He dominated the first and second round. Well, 20 seconds feels like a long time. <laughs> just out upside mounted. Yeah, it's true. Knee on the belly. Looking to step back to a knee bar. Look Ten at this. 10 seconds left. Kenny knee bar him. Kyle no. Stewart with the figure four. He's going. Very smart. Very Three exciting to finish this fight. Left. <laughs> oh. Wow. Zach going for it, showing he's a gamer. And a very tough veteran is Zach Otto. Man, the man from Milwaukee showed that he can wear a punch or a kick or two and hang in there, and he's got my respect. Absolutely, both these gentlemen got my respect. What a beautiful performance, very technical. Uh, showed a lot of heart from Zach, but what a performance by Kyle Stewart taking the thunder from Zach Otto. And Kyle Stewart redeeming himself here in XMA. He had a loss his first time around to a very tough opponent, but he got it done this time. Impressive, impressive performance.
and for both these fighters. I mean, Kyle Stewart, obviously coming back and getting the W, uh, showing impressive skills on the feet. But Zach Otto, I mean, even though he took some big shots, he really kept his composure, kept his wits about him, never lost sight of his opponent. And that's the number one thing you look for when guys take a big shot is when their eyes fade off and they're not engaged looking at where their opponent is. Um, obviously, we're going to say this is an easy, easy decision to win for Kyle Stewart. I mean, he, he might have won the second round, 10-8, even 10-7. Definitely won the first round. Could have lost the third. But it did matter at that point because nothing short of a finish would have got this done for Zach Otto. And I think we have the uh, judges' scorecards in the hands of Big Mo. Ladies and gentlemen, after three full rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard for the official decision. Judge Allen scores at 29 to 28. Judge Barahona scores at 29 to 28. And Judge Godot scores at 30 to 27. Declaring your winner by unanimous decision, Kyle Guns up Stewart. Yeah, bad judging. And Gilbert Melendez is going to catch up with Kyle Stewart. Kyle, amazing performance. Your first fight in XMMA was a loss. Totally redeemed yourself tonight. How are you feeling, and is this what you expected tonight? Yeah, hey, my first fight in XMMA was a loss. I fought Chris Curtis. I fought four opponents. That man fought in the UFC eight times. I went 0-2 in the UFC, got cut. I should have been done a while ago. I'm a grunt, man. I didn't come up wrestling in college and like the rest of these dudes. I'm a Marine Corps grunt. And I'm too stupid to quit, man. That's how I feel that it goes. And that's all you need sometimes. I'm fighting killer after killer after killer, and I swear to God, the story doesn't end here. If y'all want to hear the story about the 33-year-old washed-up MMA fighter, cast aside, cast out in the purgatory, climbed out of hell, passed over him, flipped the whole fight game on his fucking head. Stay tuned, the last chapter's just getting started. And the ending's gonna be lit. Kyle Stewart, <laughs> beautiful head kicks to drop your opponent. Straight right, overhand right. You dropped him three times in that second round. Talk to us about that. Yeah, man, I just, I, you know, I talked to Rob, my corner right there. Sometimes, man, it's in your fucking head. I'm a bad motherfucker. When I show up with an A-plus mentality, I can fuck with anybody in the world, I promise you. If I show up my D-minus mentality, I'll lose to some fucking amateurs. If I'm right up here, ain't nobody fucking with me. I promise that. I got all the tools. Jared Cannonier's fighting Izzy. That's my boy. That's my number one training partner. Trust me when I tell you I know I'm at that fucking level. Well, Kyle, you're pumped up here in the XMMA cage. You have someone to call out? What do you have next here? I'll tell you what to call out. Arizona, XMMA. Bring me, you like my mouth right here on the mic right now? Bring me to Arizona in front of my home fucking crowd. I will light that place on fire. I haven't fought at home since before the UFC. I miss that, man. I miss that energy. I miss my fucking fans at home. I got my family here. God, they pump me up. My stepmom, my dad, and I say stepmom, there's no, that's, that's my other mom. My stepmom, my dad, and my girlfriend, that pumps me up walking in here. I'm sorry, I'm too loud on the mic. I love you guys. I love New Orleans, by the way. Ladies and gentlemen, Kyle the Bad Mother Effer Stewart. <laughs>